Over the weekend, it was announced by Marvel Studios that the next installment of the Doctor Strange franchise would be titled Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, which indicates their commitment to expanding upon the real multiverse through the lens of the Doctor Strange character. Elizabeth Olsen's Scarlet Witch will be paired up with Benedict Cumberbatch's Strange, but no word yet if Wong will be back, but there is an expectation that will be announced down the line. Director and co-writer Scott Derrick and seemingly opened the door during the presentation for more of the horror elements of the comics, which is something that was certainly missing in the last film from a fan perspective. He said, quote, What excites me about Doctor Strange is what made him great in the comics. He doesn't fight villains from Earth or even this universe, but from the multiverse and other dimensions. So you get into all sorts of psychedelic weirdness, which this movie is going to. But when I came and talked to Kevin about doing a sequel, I said, I just don't want to do another sequel to do a sequel. If I'm going to do it, it has to go into territory that drew me into the Doctor Strange comics in the first place, which is how they dipped into the gothic, the horror, and the horrific, and we're going to make the first scary MCU film. This horror angle was actually mentioned by Kevin Feige when stating that Doctor Strange's supernatural elements were directly a reason why they can now pursue a Blade movie starring Mahershala Ali. So we're expecting a rather larger, weirder, horror-influenced threat in this movie, and one that we think could even go beyond Nightmare, which has been teased for the sequel for a long time now. And that's where we enter Shuma Goroth. While Nightmare could certainly play a role in the film, we don't really think of him as this huge multiverse threat that the film's title would suggest along with the inclusion of Scarlet Witch, who is becoming one of the most powerful characters in the MCU. Ruler of hundreds of dimensions, Shuma Goroth came to the Earth realm millions of years ago, along with the other old ones, ruling the Earth and feasting on the ape men. Nightmare has his own realm, but a character like Shuma Goroth is a genuine multiverse level villain as he rules over hundreds of dimensions, not just one. The villain also has more of a deep rooted literary horror origin than most fans realize. And the title of the film seems to be an obvious nod to H.P. Lovecraft's iconic horror story At the Mountains of Madness, and possibly John Carpenter's At the Mouth of Madness, which is also a homage of sorts to the blending of the worlds of Lovecraft and Stephen King. Shima Goroth seemingly has more in common with Lovecraft interdimensional characters such as Cthulhu and has a stronger extensive multiverse presence than Nightmare does, who comes off more like a minion more than a massive threat such as Dormammu or Shuma Goroth. We're also in the belief that Doctor Strange has a huge multiverse of creatures that would be considered threats to the fabric of space and time, so why would they all look like humanoids? Having a weird looking villain would change up the normal formula that we've seen in the MCU, and they have the freedom to go a little weirder, given the horror elements it sounds like they want to pursue in this movie. Shuma Goroth could also have elements of John Carpenter's The Thing as well, being able to respawn and shapeshift to various different bizarre alien creatures, which could also be interesting to see on screen. And Shuma Goroth could also have various links to upcoming properties. Remember when Scott Derrickson posted and then deleted that image of Doctor Strange and Namor? Well, the Lord of Chaos angle could tie Shuma Goroth as an ancient threat that has touched upon other groups in the MCU, mainly the Immortals known as Eternals, and possibly even Atlanteans. It would certainly give Derrickson an excuse to introduce Atlantis and even Namor, as the character also has ties to Robert E. Howard's Kroll of Atlantis. To a point, he was worshipped as a god by ancient societies, maybe even the Deviants on Earth. It was also mentioned during the panel that WandaVision, the Disney Plus show, would directly lead into the events of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. The film is currently expected to begin shooting in the first or second quarter of 2020, with a release date in May of 2021. So, post your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think Shuma Goroth could be the villain in Doctor Strange 2? and how would you like to see the character utilized? For more updates on everything Marvel and pop culture, be sure to subscribe to HN Entertainment.